last year, didn't make the Olympic final. His first appearance at Milrose, but Christian Coleman in lane six, after 18 months away, his first race since the 15th of February, 2020, over 60 metres. He ran a 300 metres earlier in the year in Kentucky, a low-key return, but this up against Baker. US all-time number three in lane four. There's Christian Coleman in lane six, one of the last to settle down. Omar McLeod there, world champion in 2017 over the barriers over 110 in lane three. But it's Bromel in five, Coleman in six, Noah Lyles in seven. Well, Bromel and Coleman pretty tight out of the blocks and Coleman now moving away. Christian Coleman challenged late there by Bromel. And on the inside, Ronnie Baker was coming too. But Christian Coleman will have had an idea of exactly how he wanted to come back. And I reckon it went something a little bit like that. <laughs> he will. It's a long time, isn't it? And look at the time, 6.49 seconds. That's really, really impressive. You know, almost two years out and you can see what that means to him. He had his characteristic lightning start, didn't he? But uh, Bramel, he really clawed it back towards the end there, didn't he? Here we go. We get to see this once again. Different angle, of course, this time. Maybe not as helpful. Well, he did. He's got that bullet start, hasn't he? You can see him there in the centre lane. And we can just see the orange shorts of Bramel. He was really closing up on him, wasn't he? Especially that last 10 metres but it was Coleman's start that ensured the victory. And just looking at Bromel there, oh, that defeat really got to him. I think he gritted his teeth even, Chris. Well, Christian Coleman, he was, he was reaching, wasn't he? By the last two or three strides, he just started to lose his form. He would have sensed in his wing mirrors that Bromel and Baker on the inside were finished.